Hi everyone, Cosmic Mango here, your favourite mango from outer space. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Tribal Commander decks have been popular since the format's creation. Players love building decks filled with creatures from their favourite tribe, whether it's wizards, dragons, humans, or whatever your heart desires. The Commander format has a huge range of tribes to choose from, and I'm here today to share with you my opinion on the top tribal commanders in the format that can be purchased on a budget. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Number 1. Kyla, the Guardian Emissary. A legendary human cleric creature that costs 1 green, 1 white, and 3 generic mana to cast. He has 2 power and 2 toughness and says the following. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Kyla, so Guardian Emissary. Other humans you control get plus one plus one for each counter on Kyla. Kyla highlights exactly what a tribal commander wants to be doing. We get rewarded with a plus one plus one counter whenever another human enters the battlefield under our control. Then we get to pump up all our humans with a static ability from Kyla based on how many plus one plus one counters he has. Kyla decks can very quickly get out of hand, flooding the board of loads of low casting humans that end up becoming big attackers thanks to Kyla's ability. The only downside is you have to watch out for those pesky board wipes. But other than that, Kyla is a fantastic commander and perfect for newcomers to the commander format. You can buy this commander for around 90 cents. Number 2. Miriam, Sentinel Worm. A legendary dragon spirit creature that costs 1 red, 1 blue, 1 green, and 3 generic mana to cast. It has 6 power and 6 toughness and says the following. Flying Ward, 2 generic mana. Whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of it, except it, that token isn't legendary. Dragons have always been a fan favourite, and Miriam is nothing but extraordinary. The power this card emits is ridiculous and can very rapidly close out games, with an abundance of powerful dragons and their clones. Miriam has so much to offer, a great colour pie, ward for protection and a kick-ass ability that doubles up each dragon we play. What's not to love? Remember, we don't even have to cast dragons to double them. All they have to do is enter the battlefield, so things like flicker effects are amazing here in a Miriam deck. You can buy this commander for around $2. Number 3. Wilhelm the Rot Cleaver. A legendary zombie warrior creature that costs 1 black, 1 blue, and 2 generic mana to cast. It has 3 power and 3 toughness and says the following. Whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have decayed, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token with decayed. It can't block, when it attacks, sacrifice it at the end of combat. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice a zombie. If you do, draw a card. Super good. So Rehead is a very powerful commander in the format and has great reasons for being so. He is totally awesome. For a total of 4 mana, we get a zombie that offers some radical abilities that synergize so well together. He gives us access to a sack outlet and a fantastic card draw mechanic. Furthermore, we get gifted decaying zombies whenever another zombie dies under our control. So board wipes feel pretty sweet for us here. If you love zombies, you can't really go on piloting with Held. He is purely awesome. And you can buy this commander for around $1.50. Number four, Strefan, Mora Progenitor. A legendary vampire noble creature that costs one red, one black and two generic mana to cast. He has three power and two toughness and says the following. Flying, at the beginning of your end step, create a blood token for each player who lost life this turn. Whenever Strefan attacks, you may sacrifice two blood tokens. If you do, you may put a vampire card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until the end of the turn. The commander format has so many vampires to choose from, and the game is always releasing new vampires, making Strefan a very good commander to invest into. If you like the idea of playing an aggressive deck that keeps attacking and throws in more and more vampires to build a huge tribe of bloodsuckers, then you will love Strefan as a commander. Remember, the creatures he brings in have indestructible until the end of the turn. That's actually super relevant. 
Strefan can very easily trigger his first ability to make blood tokens, as Rakdos has loads of easy ways to drain life from your opponents. Very good commander, and you can buy his commander for around 95 cents. Number 5, the final card on my list, Azami, Lady of Scrolls. A legendary human wizard creature that costs 3 blue and 2 generic mana to cast. She has 0 power and 2 toughness and says the following. Tap an untapped wizard you control, draw a card. Very short and simple, but very very sweet, oh yes. Wizards have always been a powerful tribe in magic, the gathering, and will likely always will be. Azami is simple but very effective. Fill the board up with wizards, then tap them to draw cards. You can gather a heck of a lot of cards with this trigger, and the only real drawback is her relatively high mana cost. But nowadays, with the amount of mana dorks and mana rocks we have in the format, it's pretty easily achieved. She's a classic commander that will likely always be a viable option in the format, and you can buy this commander for around 50 cents. Okie dokie everyone, that is the end of my list. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you kindly drop a like and subscribe to the channel? I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers, it's a huge goal of mine, and making that milestone would be wonderful. I'd love to know if you have any recommendations on your favourite tribal commanders who can be built on a budget or perched on the budget. I believe there are a lot out there, so let me know who your favourite tribal commander is. I love reading all the comments and I always try to answer back to all the comments that I can. Thanks for watching everyone and as always, take care and goodbye.